exactly the same, right? Now, I didn't mean for them to all be two, but it doesn't matter if they're two, three, or four. But whenever the degree in the numerator is equal to the degree in the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is just a ratio of your leading coefficients. So the leading coefficient of my numerator here is 1 over 2. So it's just y equals 1 half. Okay? So make sure you have your polynomials in standard form, obviously, before doing that. Um, the vertical asymptote is the same thing we've been doing, guys, for like a million examples. The Set the denominator equal to 0 and solve. Now, obviously, we want to make sure that there's no holes that are going on, right? So you know, we would want to make sure whatever I have here cannot be factored out with x minus 3, x plus 3. And then we see something, oh, crap, it's a quadratic when a is not equal to 1. Well, man, thankfully, we've been doing a lot of these examples, so I'm kind of getting pretty good at this. So I know it's going to be a product of two binomials. I know it has to multiply to give me negative 1, so therefore it's going to be a difference. And since it's a difference, the larger of the two products has to be positive. So that means that should be a positive 1, that should be a negative 1. Man, I'm getting really good at this factoring stuff. OK. So there's my x-intercept, or vertical asymptotes. Let's do the x-intercept. Um, again, notice that these don't factor out with these, so there's no holes. Um, x-intercept, set the numerator equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 3. You could use the square root method, or you could use factoring. Um, y-intercept, do we really need to plug 0 in for all the x's, or can we just take the constant over the constant? Well, I was quick, right? Bless you, bless you. 